Sit back, relax, and enjoy, because ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! It's not gonna happen if Daniel McMillan, Pennsylvania native, kept your winning here at Pocono. Third win of the season, and will win the championship. Ryan Benjamin with the last lap pass! And he is going to score the victory in the Minute Maid 300. Sam and Oskin, third win of the season! He's gonna get it in open leads three laps today! Welcome to the NOF SRL. Hello and welcome to race number nine in season three of the SEO. So we're here at Martinsville. Oh, for the mouthful of a name, the Blue Emu <laughs> Maximum Pain Relief 500. It's probably just going to be Max <laughs> instead of Maximum, as that is a lots well, a long title. Um, yeah, 75. <clears throat> sorry, 75 laps of action, and uh, honestly, I. I think it should be a good one. I, I, I believe it will be. Um, so I made a mistake on Friday at the with the cup race at Dover. Um, we are actually uh, going to be at Martinsville today, Monday, obviously, um, and then Charlotte and then Finian or Sonoma um, for the cup series, and then on Tuesday and Thursday we will be at uh, Kansas and Charlotte. So. Uh, same races, just um, sorry about that. Just a different day. Uh, I had to grab my water because I was missing it. Uh, but Daisy Morgan starts on the pole here today. Daisy Morgan looking to be uh, the second female to win in a row. I believe as. Well, no, I don't think she is looking for her second one. I'm, I, oh, I don't remember. But if she is, then good on her. Though, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, so then Marlon Bird starts second with the forty-three of Jesse Turner starting in the second row there, and then Will Parrish, Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, senior Dylan Ibrahimian, Zachary, Fi uh, Zachary Fitz, sorry. Uh, Nathan Stapleton, Ryan Madden, uh, is that one more? One more. Jonathan Gutierrez and then Hutt Mayfield rounds out the top five. We're going to get these guys going off, and then we're going to scroll through the field fairly quickly. Josephine O'Neill starts kind of up front today. Um, I guess mid-pack. Definitely uh, a good, good day for her. Now, Derek Camel was the points leader. Um, Daniel McMillan, who starts in the rear of the field here, almost uh, dead last, uh, is our points leader. He's 17 points above Derek Camel, who starts uh, just a few, few, eh, few rows in front of him. Still not great positioning. And then Samet Oskin, who finished second last week at Dover. Daisy Morgan going to lead the field to the green here at Martinsville. Hopefully this isn't much of a wreck fest. If it is, it's whatever. They're going three wide already. But, um... Oh, man. It's a little warm in here. I'm kind of kind of sweating. Jesse Turner making a, an impressive run to second. Marlon Bird far, uh, falling... Um, or, sorry, Moses Bird. My bad. I don't know why I was saying Marlon. Uh, Moses Bird falling into uh, third and... Well, gonna lose a little bit more. I swear I saw a pace car. I don't know why, but I'm glad I'm wrong. <laughs> Daisy Morgan, out to a pretty nice lead. Uh, oh yeah, pit stops are off for this race, so see how that goes. I did say I would turn them off. So. Do not shoot the messenger. Or I guess I am. I'm both the messenger and the guy who makes the decisions. Looks like Benny Watson trying to make up some ground here. Samet Oskin did the exact same. He is working his way up, and they're going through wide, but it looks like they're working through. I'm going to knock on some wood there so we don't, uh, don't have too many problems. Eric Monaco, you can see back there in the four car. I uh, wanted to make sure I didn't call him uh, Trey Bartow. <laughs> Eric Monaco drives the four in this series. Looks like Fitzwater 
looking to get a, a pretty good finish today. He's now making his way into third just now, getting around uh, the 11 of Bird, Nathan Stapleton coming into the picture. Jonathan Gutierrez, who started on the pole last week, uh, didn't exactly, well, he couldn't, well, couldn't really get it done. He ended up falling back quite a bit. Will Parrish uh, ended up finishing in the rear. Looks like he's looking for a pretty good rebound day here at Martinsville. Definitely a good place to start up front. Looks like Benny Watson, Danny McMillan, Samad Oskin, those guys that finished inside the top 10 last week uh, towards the rear. Damian Singletary, who has missed uh, a couple races here. Um, happy to be back, I can tell you that much. Uh, and there's there's your last winner, Lauren Martinez, who uh, moves towards the rear end of this field. But uh, really, uh, let's see, hee hee, I thought Holman and uh, Mayhew were going to get into it. Luckily that didn't happen, but it uh, looks like our top three are set in stone, at least for the moment. Daisy Morgan, uh, Jesse Turner, who actually seems to be making up ground on that 83 car, and then Zachary Fitzwater. Four, and eh, yeah, Moses Bird, and then fifth of uh, Nathan Stapleton. We also have Jonathan Gutierrez, and then the 27 of Darren Allen, as we may have an incident. Samet Oskin, Brett Hill, not sure what happened there, no caution seems to be out. Did something happen? Did something happen to our leader? Oh, no, I think that might just be the Camrys. The Camrys have some uh, damage glitch going on, because, yeah. Because I think uh, Brett, or uh, Brett, yeah, Brett Hill drives a Camry, so. He's got some damage. I'm surprised our Chevys don't have rear end damage, eh? I don't know. But Brett Hill, Samet Oskin, in an incident, Samet Oskin not, uh, well, he's going to have to struggle for the rest of the day. There's Brett Hill. Yeah. Yeah, this glitch is kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's affecting the driving. I don't know. It's just weird to look at, I guess. Because you know they're not damaged. Brett Hill coming back out onto the track. Definitely going to be a slow, slow car. McMillan in the back. I wonder if he got uh, a little piece of it. Ozkin, Brett Hill back out together. But uh, I guess we're definitely going to have some uh, lap traffic coming forward. Looks like the cars are back to normal. And Daisy Morgan trying to keep that 43 car behind. Jesse Turner, just an amazing driver. Um, not sure if you watch uh, Napa Fan, most likely you do. Um, but Jesse Turner, just a, a fantastic driver. Same with Fitzwater. Both am amazing drivers here running up front today. Yo Moses Bird, uh, finding his comfortable position. Looks like their top 10 really hasn't changed. Ryan Madden, Dylan Bohemian, Noel Tucker here, Ryan Durrani, Corey LaJoy there in the 47. Ty West Holman trying to get a pretty nice finish here today. Trying to do what he did in the first few races. Ow. So John Andrews falling falling back a little bit. Uh, Daniel McMillan not really having that great a day for that three-time winner. I believe Fitzwater might be catching up to our leaders. Now... It's gonna be really important when we get to these, uh, when when we get to lap traffic, especially Brett Hill. That, uh, well, that's definitely gonna be a, a moment where we could see a lead change. Uh, Jesse Turner, obviously the best guy to take the lead, uh, but we'll have to watch and and see uh, what exactly happens going forward as they ever ever so slightly get closer. The glitch looks so weird. Ooh, a little bit the dive to the inside. Not uh, nothing doing there, but uh, I think by this time around, 
Yes, Daisy Morgan will be able to get around that 66 car of Brett Hill. Ooh. Jesse Turner going to try to make a run. Not sure if he's going to be able to do it this turn. Not looking like it down the back stretch or down the front back. Uh, I didn't look to see where the line was. I'm pretty sure that was back. And it looks like Turner going to be able to get around that 66 car. That was the front. Ooh. Looks like the 41 there. That's Madison Tall. Madison Tall has a problem. Down pit road to she goes. I'm trying not to make too much noise with my keyboard. It looks like these guys are getting around Brett Hill A-OK. -okay. Um, a matter of time before they catch up to this 2014. And Brett Hill, a couple of not so great weeks. Uh, what, last week at Dover, he uh, went, I believe, more than 15 laps down. This week, now already multiple laps down. So Matt Oskin trying to stay on the lead lap here after finishing second. He is now not second to last, third to last. Whoa! 35 car blowing an engine, no caution out just yet. 35 car, that's... Uh, that's Dylan Wilson. Dylan Wilson, who actually at Dover had a had a rough day as well. This is just man. Some of these guys just cannot catch a break. No caution is out, and uh, well, let's see how close we are. Actually, fairly close um, to catching up to Smet Oskin. Oh, I thought we had another incident. Looks like Daniel McMillan. Really the. I guess if you want to consider him the last car um, in contention to catch back up, though our leader's fairly close to everyone. If this race goes uh, the next 50 laps, we're definitely going to see some main pack lapping. Um, hmm. But Daisy Morgan, all eyes are on her. Two weeks in a row, a woman, a female driver would win. If it were to, if the race were to finish like this, Jesse Turner actually uh, falling off the pace just a little bit. Fitzwater might be able to get around him. We'll have to see going forward. Moses Bird, same top five, same top ten. Probably the same. Ooh, no, sorry. Brett Hill is not in contention right now. I don't know if this is the Toyota glitch. I'm going to assume it is. No? Yeah, it was. Okay. Wow. Looks like Watson. Benny Watson making his way up through the field. He is now in 23rd after starting, I think, what, dead last? Great, great run for him. And Ooh. Turner up the track, not uh, not what you want to do here. Fitzwater looked like he may have had a run. Uh, he might just be uh, buying his time and waiting it out, which can't really blame him for. Don't want to any, do anything too early and uh, make a mistake. Oh, Turner all over the bumper of the 83 car. What just happened? Ah, and just like that, Turner up the track, going to lose a lot of that momentum that he had on Morgan. Probably could have made a pass within the next lap or so, but uh, now he's going to try to claw his way back to her bumper. And McMillan having just a really hard time trying to, trying to, to get around anybody and at least keep a position. Smet Oskin, actually, I believe Smet is catching these guys, which which would be interesting because our leaders are also catching him. So, who knows, pack lapping might come sooner than, than I honestly would have thought. But Daisy Morgan now, just constant pressure from uh, Jesse Turner. Any mistake, and Turner could easily capitalize on it. Looks like Fitzwater... Uh, kind of off the pace just a little bit, not a whole whole lot, but uh, enough to uh, really to be known. I will say that I am excited um, for the Sonoma race, the first race 
or for the first uh, road course of the season. I, I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be interesting. And who knows? No cautions, obviously. Um, yeah, especially with no more pit stops. With pit stops, it would have been different. But uh, no pit stops, it will. Um, who knows? Who knows will actually win? Most likely someone on the front row, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. But besides the point, uh, Jesse Turner losing a little bit of ground here on our leader. Still, Daisy Morgan running the show. We still have quite a bit of racing left. So uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how this goes. So Matt Oskin may honestly end up passing McMillan. Which, I don't know, we'll have to see. But our leaders, ever so closer. Lapping more and more people. Will Parrish having a pretty good day here. Ryan Madden as well, Dylan Abrahamian. Some some of these drivers, it's nice to see them having a, a, good, a good day every now and then in between their uh, not-so-great days. Some drivers, just not... Just not running too well. Again, it is only the ninth race of the season, but... It, it comes up on quick. We got, what, nine more before the chase actually starts? Before we get, uh, well, yeah, before we start eliminating people. Yeah, we've got Charlotte, Infineon, or Charlotte, Sonoma, Pocono, Indianapolis, Michigan, Kentucky, Watkins Glen, Darlington, and Daytona uh, night race. So, yeah. That'll be interesting. It will be interesting. And next season, uh, there will be schedule changes. Uh, there are actually, yeah, there are quite a bit of few schedule changes. There are a few schedule changes. Um, hmm. Well, I'm excited. Definitely excited for that. In fact, there are going to be some tracks that we have not run uh, yet. So... I'd be ready for that. I don't know. But nine more races, and, uh... Well, there we go. Daisy Morgan, trying to get around the 66 once again, uh, which, uh, could definitely put some ground in between her and Jesse Turner. Maybe not? Well, we'll have to see. Jesse turned to the inside of that 66 car, Brett Hill. And Brett Hill just continuing uh, to go down a few more laps. Or at least another lap. Because <laughs> that's how that works. And Fitzwater, kind of off the pace here. Moses Burden and uh, Nathan Stapleton kind of catching up to him. We'll have to see uh, if he can maintain that third position. Derek Hamill, the points, or well, the guy that's second in points, just ahead of Daniel McMillan, would get um, a few more points than him, but I'm not sure if he would be able to get the points lead off of him. We'll have to see when we do go to the points. But right now, <laughs> still, that 83 car. At least I think I turned off pit stops. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out soon. If I did or not. I swear I did. I really do. I swear I did. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously waiting for, for our drivers here to catch up completely. To, uh, to the rear end of our field, besides Brett Hill. Brett Hill now, ooh. Dylan Wilson, uh, he's out of the race. Let's take a look at who has the fastest lap. In fact, <laughs> Jesse Turner, the fastest lap so far today. 
actually mounds ahead of everyone. Actually, uh, Daisy Morgan, the 10th fastest driver, it's kind of weird. It shouldn't be weird, but it is, uh, that our leader has one of the fastest laps. Usually, for some, it, usually it's people in the in the pack. And not sure what's going on with Jesse Turner, but uh, he's quite a bit off the pace. I'll have to keep an eye out on that. <laughs> oh wow, Samad so Oskin trying to get around the two of Ryan Durrani, which would open up the door for Daisy Morgan. If this lasts any longer, that uh, that'll definitely help out this 83 car in catching the rest of the field. 15 laps to go, 16 laps to go, one of the two. Math, right? Yeah. Technically 16, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Daisy Morgan. I can't say that she's feeling the pressure anymore from that 43 car. Yeah, he's... He's definitely gotten a little bit slower. I don't know if he's just conserving his tires. Um, but Daisy Morgan's been driving quite hard for the majority of today. And I don't know if he's just waiting for her to make a mistake or what, but um, definitely if he's gonna make a if he's gonna make a move, it'll definitely have to be soon. So we're coming down to the end of this thing. And Ryan Durrani about to be on the chopping block. Or is on the chopping block. Yeah, I think we would have already had a pit stop cycle, I think. At least someone would have. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's take a look here. Uh, looks like McMillan, a couple spots up. Looks like he, uh, he was able to uh, move up just a tad. Uh, at least a little bit closer to Derek Campbell now. Tyler Mills. O'Neill. Not having the best day, um, just uh, trying, I guess, claw her way out of that little uh, little deficit that she has. Singletary, I uh, believe he's, he's in 24th at the moment. Benny Watson continuing to climb up in a position, now in 22nd, was in 23rd or 24th, I do believe. Oh, Lauren Martinez, uh, 21st then, <laughs> as uh, we head back up front, looks like we have caught uh, at least the tail end of the field, as Ryan Durrani now going a lap down, and this is going to create some problems, Jesse Turner not going to be able to get under the two car there for that turn, and that's going to allow some uh, separation from him and that 83 car, or at least the 83 car from him. Here comes Fitzwater to the inside. We'll have to see if he can uh, get a run and uh, at least secure that third position right here. There it is. Looks like Moses Bird possibly having the same idea. But <laughs> a, just a dominating day here for the 83. I don't know. Maybe if I do pit stops, I think I'd have to find a balance. Um... Maybe, like, short tracks have pit stops just to prevent... I don't know. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. Daisy Morgan. Not much to worry about right now, unless we do have a caution. Unless that were to occur. In fact, I think something may be just wrong with the two car. Definitely slow. I'm not sure why. But it looks like lap traffic isn't really playing a hand in any of this. Maybe for Jesse Turner, like, losing pace a little bit, but other than that, it, it's very minimal. Because um, there is a lot of this in-between racing. I don't know if he made up ground that time. We'll have to see. He did. He is catching up just a little bit as it's now crunch time. I'll we'll have to see if Daisy Morgan can hang on to that lead or if Jesse Turner is going to just drive it in there. Oh, wow. Major time that time, or that time around. Major saving. 
42. We'll have to see Morgan a little bit higher on the track than Turner. That might allow Turner to get a better run. I don't know, Daisy Morgan holding on for dear life. Pretty sure she thought she may have had this one in the bag, but uh, now that Turner's coming back, that's... Uh, well, it could still be the case, but Turner definitely closing in. Each lap dropping more and more. That may have been what he wanted. He could make a he could make a move within the next lap or two. He's not close enough yet, but definitely keep an eye out on him. Uh, a little bit off the pace there. Definitely not as close, but uh, yeah. Ooh, Turner. Oh, I thought he was a little up the track. Jesse Turner, yeah, he's losing pace again. Not sure if he, he's going to be able to do it, as we are coming up on Brett Hill again. Now, if Brett Hill can, in some, somehow, you know, if he somehow affects um, this 83 car, um, I think Turner may have a shot. He may be a little bit too far now, as uh, Fitzwater getting a pretty good run. Nah, nah, it, there's too much of race, there's too much racing left to not uh, have to pass Brett Hill again. Ooh, Jesse Turner, a nice little, uh, nice little uh, run there. Hoo-hoo, Daisy Morgan, not able to get under the 66, and going to be able to do it now, but Jesse Turner, yeah, he, uh, oh, uh, maybe... Not too great of a run there. He Actually, Daisy Morgan's still trying to get around the 66. Finally going to be able to do it, but uh, Jesse Turner's there as well. Look at that. Able to clear it in one turn, and uh, Jesse Turner showing that he can still do it. Now, Fitzwater, uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it. He would have to get around Turner and uh, Morgan, which this late in the race is definitely not going to be easy. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see us having to really worry about any more lap traffic. If we do, it's a Met Oskin, but, uh, he's running a nice pace, so, um, and Jesse Turner keeps falling off. So, I, I, I think Daisy Morgan has this one in the bag. Uh, there is still, there is still a bit of racing left. Anything can happen, so we'll just have to see. But Jesse Turner has had a couple of shots to at least make a move. And, uh, well, just hasn't taken them. As he falls back more and more. And that time, I believe he was even further. I think he's about a second back at this point. Uh, about two tenths to a second. And, uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not seeing it right now. Each lap closer to a second. Hopefully, no caution on the final lap, that would be detrimental. I mean, not like it would matter, Daisy Morgan would win either way, but, uh, still. Daisy Morgan on the back bumper almost. Of that 24 car. So Matt Oskin gonna try to keep her behind. We'll have to see if, uh, with a lap and a half about if Jesse Turner can maybe capitalize on it as we are crossing the line for the white flag, Daisy Morgan. And not looking like it's gonna be a real factor. Is Daisy Morgan coming around the final turns? For the final time, Daisy Morgan gonna come back to the line, and Daisy Morgan is gonna win here at Martinsville. Congratulations.
two female drivers winning in a row. We've had, uh, obviously, Josephine O'Neill uh, win a race as well. So congratulations there. Looks like we're, honestly, really good job. Just doing a great job there. Uh, but yeah, Daisy Morgan, congratulations. Jesse Turner, Zachary Fitzwater, Sr., uh, one, two, three, uh, Marlon, er, Marlon, uh, Moses Bird, Nathan Stapleton, Jonathan Gutierrez, Darren Allen, Will Parrish, uh, Dylan Ibrahimian, and then Noel Tucker, finishing in 10th. Ryan Madden ended up finishing in 12th, falling out of the top 10. Uh, but there's the rest of your top 28. Benny Watson finishing 22nd there after starting last. Hello, uh, Martinez finished 21st, was our last winner. So we take a look in the back here, O'Neill finishing 29th, Derek Hamill, who was second in points, finished 32nd, and Daniel McMillan finished 35th. I think McMillan might keep his uh, points lead, as he was the last driver on the lead lap. We're going to export as race 9, yeah, we're just we're reaching double digit races now. Congratulations, Daisy Morgan, on grabbing the victory here today. We'll have to see how uh, that works out in the points. But uh, with that, I will, uh, I think, what, tomorrow we're going Kansas? Kansas, yeah. I believe it's Kansas, yeah. So tomorrow we will be at Kansas for the Pilot Pro Series race, and then Charlotte for Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday we will be at Sonoma. Um, so yeah, should be a pretty good one. Uh, with that, I want to thank y'all so very much for watching, and I will see y'all tomorrow.